Chapter 1, Lesson 9, Direct Variation. You will be able to use direct variation to solve problems. When two variable quantities have a constant ratio, the relationship is called a direct variation, which is also proportional if you remember a few lessons ago. The constant ratio is called the constant of variation, which is also known as the constant of proportionality. Again, because direct variation is proportional, which means it goes through the origin and it's a straight line. In a direct variation equation, the constant rate of change or slope is assigned to a special variable k. So we could say that y equals kx is a direct variation equation where k represents a constant. So for our example, 3 would be the constant, or k value, which means the constant of proportionality is 3. Similarly, in this example, the constant of proportionality would be 2. We would say that y varies directly with x. And if we are not given the equation, we can still find the direct variation or, or the constant of proportionality by using a formula y divided by x. So take the y value divided by the x value and that will give you your constant. The height of the water in a pool is being filled, as a pool is being filled, is shown in the graph. Determine the rate in inches per minute. This is a direct variation because it's a straight line that passes through the origin, which means it's also proportional. So determine the rate in inches per minute. Well, we can use what we use to find slope to help us find our rate. We would find our rise over our run. The rise goes from 2 to 4, so the rise is 2. The run goes from 5 to 10, so the run is 5. Divide those out. We get 0 0.4. Because it's asking for a rate, we don't want it to stay in fractional form. So our rate is 0 0.4, our y value is inches per, our x value is minute. So y over x, which means the constant of proportionality is also 0 0.4. And if we were to write this as an equation, we would write it as y equals 0 0.4x. Letter B. Two minutes after a diver enters the water, he has descended 53 feet. After five minutes, he has descended 130 feet. At what rate is the scuba, scuba diver descending? So let's use 130 feet in five minutes. 130, oops, my three got cut off, and five. To find a rate, we divide. 5 into 130, 5 into 13 is twice, minus 10, looks like my program is acting up a little bit, minus 3, minus and get 3, I should say, bring down the 0, 5 into 30, 6 times, minus 30, is zero. So our rate is 26 and we are talking about feet and minutes. So feet per minute. Again the constant of proportionality is 26 and if we wanted to write this as an equation it would be y equals 26x.
letter C. The equation y equals 10x represents the amount of money y Julio earns for x hours of work. Identify the constant of proportionality. Explain what it represents in this situation. So when y equals 10x, the constant of proportionality is 10. So 10 is the answer. And explain what it means. We are talking about money earned in x hours. So it means uh, Julio earns I'm going to type this, I think. Julio earns $10 for every hour he works. So our answer for constant of proportionality is 10. And explaining what it means is underneath. Letter D. The distance traveled in my... In, y traveled in miles by the Chang family in x hours is represented by the equation y equals 55x. Identify the constant of proportionality, then explain what it represents. So 55 is the constant of proportionality. And explaining what it means, we are talking about distance traveled in hours. So we could say this means the Chang family travels 55 miles per hour. Not all situations with a constant rate of change are proportional relationships. Likewise, not all linear functions are direct variations. Pizzas cost $8 each plus a $3 delivery charge. Show the cost of one, two, three, and four pizzas. Is there a direct variation? Explain. So one pizza would cost $8 plus a $3 fee, which means one pizza would cost $11. Two pizzas, well, two times $8 a piece is $16 plus a $3 fee is $19. Three pizzas is $24, three times eight, plus a $3 fee, which would be 27. I'm running out of room. And four pizzas, four times eight is 32, plus three would be 35. So let's graph this here. At one pizza, it costs $11. Do the best you can. I know it's a small graph. Two pizzas would be $19. Three pizzas would be 27. And four pizzas would be 35. Draw a line as best as you can. I know it's not perfect. So here's my line. Okay. Now visually, we can see that although it's a straight line, it does not pass through the origin. Origin. So visually, I can tell that it's not a direct variation. However, there is a way to do it numerically as well. And we can do that by figuring out our y values divided by our x for each one. So for one pizza and $11, 11 divided by 1 is 11. $19 for two pizzas, 19 divided by 2 is 9.5, 27 divided by three pizzas is 9 exactly, and 35 divided by four pizzas, that one, let's use a quick calculation, 35 divided by 4 looks like 8.75. So we can also see with the numbers that it is also not a direct variation because it doesn't have a constant rate of change. Or not a constant rate of change, it doesn't have a um, constant ratio. 
So our answer would be it is not a direct variation because I'm running out of room here. Let's scroll down. It does not have a constant ratio. Um, it also does not pass through the origin. Letter B. Just check one more after this, okay. Two pounds of cheese cost $8.40. Show the cost for one, two, three, and four pounds of cheese. So one, two, three, and four pounds of cheese. Is there a direct variation? Explain. Well, it says that two pounds cost $8.40. which means one pound would cost half of that, which is 420. Three pounds would be 1260, take 420 times three. And four pounds would be 1680, taking 420 times four. If we figure out our ratios first, 420 over one is 420. 840 over 2 is also 420. 1260 over 3, when you divide it, is also $4.20. And 1680 divided by 4 is also 420. Let's graph and make sure that we're on the same page. Again, do the best you can. 1, 420. 2, 8, 40, 3, 12, 60, and 4, 16, 80. Mine is a little bit off. Let me straighten it out. So as you can tell, it is a straight line. It does go through the origin, which also makes it a direct variation. So we can say, yes, it's a direct variation because it has a constant ratio. Also, it's a straight line that passes through the origin. Letter C. Determine whether the linear relationship is a direct variation. If so, state the constant of proportionality. So we don't have a graph this time, but that's okay. We can take our y value divided by x. So 12 divided by 1 is 12. 24 divided by 2 is 12. I'm getting these from the table. 36 divided by 3 is 12, and 48 divided by 4 is 12. Now, they all have 12 as their ratio. So is it a direct variation? I would say yes, because it has a constant ratio. And then it says state the constant of proportionality. The constant of proportionality is, and in this case, 12. So that ratio, that 12, is the constant of proportionality. And again, going back to what we talked about earlier, if we wanted to write an equation, it would be y equals 12x.